Time now for news from the left. And uh, first up, the left's outrage machine is coming after me again over comments I made about a new national gay flag football league. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Apple News picking up an article from LGBTQNation.com. Right-wing anchorman angered by the fact that gay men play football. I'm not angry about that at all, but go ahead with your headline. Media, media had had this one. Newsmax host melts down over Buffalo Bills sponsorship of gay sports leagues. Says I need to go find my own country. Yeah, I do because this country is getting so stupid. They all assume that this is based in homophobia, right? That's what they're trying to say. Too stupid to see that what this really is is just more of this cultural Marxism that's tearing this country apart. Here's a question for you. Why is a separate league of flag football needed exclusively for gay men? Why? Are gay men not allowed to play regular flag football? Are we barring gay men from the flag football league in this country or from any segment of American society? No. But the left wants you to think that we are. And they use things like this. They manufacture oppression to justify more segregation in the name of wokeness. That's what this is. And this nonsense is destroying the culture and the cohesiveness of our country. So yes, I'll say it one more time. It is extremely stupid to have a gay-only flag football league. First of all, flag football is the dumbest game in the world. To make it even dumber, a gay-only league insinuates that gays need some kind of safe space for flag football when they don't. Because this is the most forward-thinking, best country in the world. So shut up. Next up, American Airlines suspending several employees for kicking passengers off a flight following complaints over their body odor. It happened back in January, a New York-bound flight from Phoenix. Three of the men went on to sue American Airlines for race discrimination in federal court. So uh, here's what happened. They basically smelled so terrible that the people on the plane were about to be miserable on the flight. This week, American Airlines CEO releasing a statement vowing to address discrimination at his company after they, I mean, it's just saying, I'm incredibly disappointed by what happened on the flight and the breakdown of our procedures. We're holding those involved accountable, including removing team members from service. So your passengers are saying, I can't breathe because the body odor is so thick. So your staff does the right thing and takes people that just for some reason don't shower or use deodorant ever off the plane. And what do you do? You scold your staff because you're so scared of the woke lefties coming after your company. Got it. Next up, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg has dropped nearly all cases from Columbia University's anti-Israel protesters who stormed Hamilton Hall, citing lack of evidence. Dismissing cases against 31 of the 46 people charged with trespassing and taking over the building in late April, forcing an NYPD raid, as seen on this police body cam video. Bragg's prosecutors say there's lack of evidence uh, that could tie the students or the staff to the crime. Couldn't identify them because they were wearing masks. No, you didn't want to identify them, Alvin. And after what they just did to Donald Trump, isn't it so rich what those people did to that university? No charges at all. If he can make anything a crime, he can dismiss any crime he wants. That's the power of being Alvin Bragg. Get him out. Get him and all of his ilk out.